An announcement over the PA system at Ashua High School has a lot of people fired up. It had to do with the dress code and what girls are and are not allowed to wear. News 13's Ashley Searles is live at Asheville High. And Ashley, the district is now saying it was all a miscommunication. That's right. The school says there has never been and won't be a policy here requiring girls to wear bras. Attention students and staff, the Asheville High principal said yesterday over the PA system. Quote, we need help in enforcing the dress code. You cannot wear short shorts and skirts and spaghetti straps and be braless. And it was that last part that caused a problem. So that miscommunications happen easily, especially in a situation where you're sitting in a classroom listening to announcements. Students understood it as you don't wear a bra, you'll be disciplined. The school meant if you wear spaghetti straps, you better wear a bra. I mean, they are really fired up. Parent Stephanie Mills called Principal Joyce Best to clarify. As I said to her, I said, you know, what it came across as is it came across as it really was going to come down to whether somebody, it was noticeable if somebody was wearing a bra. These photos taken in classrooms today show how some kids felt that girls were taking a disproportionate amount of the heat for showing skin at school. And this is just another example, they say. Miss Best has done a lot of great stuff for our school. The past couple of years, it's kind of started getting a little bit rowdy and stuff. And she came in, cracked the whip, and has been taking care of stuff. This movement is more about dress code in general. There was no discussion of boys and enforcing the dress code. So that is where the, the issue came. Today, these upperclassmen said that boys wear saggy pants, ripped shirts, but that the school's treatment of young men is different. You know, I signed the dress code. I signed the student code of conduct. We're saying that the way that we're called out for it is wrong. When I'm called out, I'm not called out with the words, you're breaking dress code. I'm called out with, Wow, giving the boys a show, aren't you? Now, in response to some of the concerns you heard there, the students say girls are being unfairly targeted under the dress code. The district said today that's not the intention. They said the intention is to cut back on distractions in the classroom. No matter what that is, they said a fair amount of boys are also pulled aside for having baggy, sagging, or low pants. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13. The district isn't only cracking down on what students can wear, it's also reevaluating the dress code for staff. So we're just clarifying a few things about jeans, which can be worn sometimes, special occasions, and, and things like that. We expect our teachers to be professionals, and uh, they, the, the code there is a little more strict than it would be for students. And the new version of the code being drafted now, clothing like rubber flip-flops and leggings worn as pants would be off-limits for teachers.